here with 2016 NEFL MVP winner Matthew Payne, who's done it again, now a two-time winner, creating more history as you do. Look, coming into this night, did you think you were actually a chance of coming home with it? Uh, I didn't. I thought Jordan would have won it, but um, obviously knew I played well, so but I think the other boys worked it out that I was probably going to come second, but anyway, I'll take the win, so... I feel sorry for Jordan though, like he uh, obviously had a great year and he would have won it if he hadn't have, um, got suspended, so um, it's twice having to me now, so <laughs> I'll take it, but I feel sorry for him, he had an awesome year, so. He certainly did, but yourself, I mean, don't take anything away from yourself, you still averaged 27 disposals and five clearances and, um, you know, was in the top 10 for the competition for disposals, tackles and fantasy points, you still are consistently good and you always, I think, um, provide that match winning moment, I think, for Aspley. I mean, how much do you still enjoy the game after playing it for so long? Uh, yeah, as I said up there, look, the competitive side of me always sort of wants to play well and keep doing well for Aspley and prove myself. So as long as I've still got that sort of in me and want to keep doing well, I'll keep playing and hopefully get Aspley to another premiership. And you're 31 next month and um, you've won five best and fairest in the past five years. So I think you, your longevity is something also to celebrate. But when it comes to pre-season, do you do anything differently? Do you do it all or is it a modified pre-season for you to get your body right? Uh, I don't do as much running as I used to, but I do something different. Like a couple of years ago, I did CrossFit, maybe do a bit of boxing, or a bit of swimming. or just do something different rather than just running around the field all the time. So and I've changed maybe my running sort of what I do, like interval sort of running. But I'm um, just like to change up a bit sort of, yeah keep me sort of a different sort of pre-season and sort of get me a fre bit fresher for the next year. So. You're very humble and you're very laid back and you, you don't seem like you're, I guess, emotional about this win, but are you, are you proud of everything that you've achieved? Your career is just second to none and you're now not only the inaugural NEFL MVP, but a two-time winner. It's something you must be very proud of. Uh, yeah, I guess. So when people talk about it, so I get a bit proud and I sort of, yeah, it makes me sort of realise what I've done, but I don't play for that, like I obviously want to win a flag, but um, I guess looking back at it, um, yeah, it's something to be proud of, but um, obviously I want to keep this year for Aspley win another flag and then hopefully two more years to come, three more years to come and a couple more, so that's the main goal. Last year you won best finals player for Aspley when you guys came from fourth all the way to the grand final. Is history going to repeat itself this year? I'd like to think so, but... I don't know, the, the, the AFL side seems like they're going to be tough to beat, so we'll just focus on, I guess, this week and getting over NT and then see how we go. But we know it's going to be tough, we're not playing the best footy at the moment, so hopefully um, we can, like, like we have done in the last couple of years, bring our best footy in the finals and you never know what happens. Congratulations, Matthew, on yet another NEFL MVP and all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you.